With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So in this question, we have four different statements and we have to determine which one of the uh, following pairs that means which one which two of these statements are correct okay the first statement is center of gravity uh, of a body is the point at which weight of the body acts okay second point is center of mass coincides with the center of gravity okay center of mass coincides with the center of gravity if earth is assumed to have infinitely large radius to evaluate gravitational field intensity uh, due to any point at an external point, the mass of the body can be ca considered to be concentrated at its center of gravity. The radius of gyration of a body rotating about an axis is the length of the perpendicular dropped from center of gravity of the body to the axis. Okay, uh, which one of the following pairs of statements is correct? So here we can see that the first statement center of gravity of a body is the point at which weight of the body acts. This statement is true as center of gravity. Let's say that this is a body, right? Center of gravity will be the point in this body where the entire weight of this body appears to be concentrated. Okay. So at this point, we can assume that uh, force of weight mg that is applied at the center of gravity. Okay. Now, um, center of mass coincides with the center of gravity if Earth is assumed to have infinitely large radius. Okay, now the condition for center of mass to coincide with center of gravity that is when the mass density of the body is considered to be uniform, right? And also the gravitational field must be uniform, okay? So this means that option 2 is incorrect, okay? Uh, third option is to evaluate the gravitational field intensity due to any body at an external point. Uh, the entire mass of the body uh, can be considered to concentrate at its center of gravity. Now to calculate the gravitational field intensity for a body uh, at any extreme point, right? This can be calculated by considering this body to be a point mass, okay? And if we consider that if it is a point mass, that means all of its weight will be concentrated on center of gravity, okay? So this means that statement number three, this is correct, okay? Now let us look at the fourth option. It says radius of gyration of any body about an axis is the length of the perpendicular drop from center of gravity of the body to the axis. Okay. But we know that this is not the complete definition for radius of gyration. Radius of gyration of a body about an axis of rotation. Right. Let's say this is the axis of rotation is defined as the radial distance of a point from the axis of rotation. Right. Let's say this is the point. Uh, from axis of rotation at which as if the whole mass of the body is concentrated and this distance uh, of radius of gyration this is in such a way that uh, the moment of inertia does not change okay it remains the same and its equation is given as k is equal to under root of i moment of inertia divided by mass okay uh, but here there is nothing about uh, moment of inertia being same right so this statement is all not true okay therefore the correct statements here will be statement one and statement three okay uh, so the correct option is option c for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today